In a school as large as Berkeley, it's easy to get lost in the crowd. But one student group on campus is using photojournalism to show that there is a common human experience that unites us all. Join Cal TV as we take an exclusive look behind the lens with the Berkeley Story Collective. Michaela Raphael is the founder of the Berkeley Story Collective, a photojournal project that has taken the online and Berkeley community by storm. In just one month since it was first launched in March of this year, the page has garnered almost 3,000 likes on Facebook. Our mission is just to kind of freely put out as many different perspectives as possible. Um, I think it's really important to humanize people because we're living in this, we're living in this university in this town where everyone feels like everyone else is perfect um, and that's one of like the resounding themes that I'm getting from talking to all these people is that they think that they're somehow have messed up because everyone else puts out this image that they're all getting perfect grades and they're all doing all the right extracurriculars and when it comes down to it we're all just people. Every day, Michaela and her team of 13 journalists engage in conversations with strangers all across campus getting them to open up and share their personal stories. Like how her experience with homelessness has shaped her perspective on life. He was once arrested while fighting for justice, and they brochet every Thursday. I was talking to a girl in Mulford, and she just happened to drop like, oh yeah, and then I hiked the Appalachian Trail. I was like, oh, so like, you know, only like, I think it's like 2,700 miles. And she's like, I only did half of it, actually. I was like, okay, so you only hiked like, a thousand miles or something like that and I think that's so cool that there's so many people out there then another guy's like oh I'm just like he just drops that he's like from Sudan and all that I'm like okay well like no big deal but you're here and tell us about that. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. Three-fourths of the people I approach on campus say yes when I ask them to interview them. Surprisingly um as of recently, a lot of our people have actually approached us, sent us emails saying, I have something I want to say, um, would you be interested in interviewing us? And it's not just students who are sharing, like this man who was called dumb by his teachers at age 7, but prevailed to finish high school by the age of 12. Now he teaches at the top public university in the world. Alexander Coward, who is a math professor here at Berkeley, um, I heard about him before, and I always heard like really great things. And then one of my friends, um, she was like, "Oh, I have him as a professor. I can ask to interview him." I was like, "Okay, uh, that would be awesome." Um, so we interview him, and we end up talking for a really long time about education, about his life, and he was one of those people who genuinely cares about what we have to say too. So we're able to actually have like a real dialogue. And this man, whose experience growing up while taking care of his alcoholic mother taught him not to take things too seriously. Pete Marsden was really cool. He he was really funny. He, he started the, we came up to him. We're like, hey, where would you like to interview? Um, we're like, does this work for you? And he's like, whatevs. And then he's like, when we're talking about some stuff, he's like, this is real talk now. Like, we got to hug this out after this. But the Berkeley Story Collective isn't just stopping at interviews and photos. It recently brought together Cal students who are strangers to recreate the first kiss video that recently went viral. We had over 120 people apply to be a part of it. The Berkeley edition of the first kiss is scheduled to be released this coming Monday. At the end of the day, the underlying message of each post is clear. I want people to take away that we're not alone in a lot of our thoughts and that they can also learn things by reading everyone else's perspectives and whether it's like something that's really serious or whether it's something that's fun we try balancing them everyone that we surround ourselves with they're they're so much bigger than just like a face that you pass by there's so many people out here and everyone has different opinions and everyone is super friggin cool check out the berkeley story collective to find out exactly how unique berkeley is reporting for cal tv in berkeley i'm jennifer gao